Yeah, baby! <laughs> Kid Cochise, put us on the fish! Hey folks, how you doing? Captain Mark here, Kid Cochise Outdoors. That's my boy Joe Law right there, National Police Anglers, catching a nice blackfish. Alright, today's video is not exactly a fishing video, it's more of a uh, how I locate structure and blackfish using the Simrad NSS9 Evo 2, okay? And uh, we throw a little shenanigans in there, but not really, because this is really an educational film, if you will, just to show how structure scan can up the odds of catching blackfish in the Long Island Sound and wherever the heck you fish, it really doesn't matter. Blackfish are structure-oriented fish, they'll hang on rock piles, wrecks, reefs, you name it, they're structure-oriented, so structure scan, uh-huh, you, you get the link there, guys and girls? Yeah, get these, all right? So here's, uh, let me just show you a quick uh, video of my machine, and I have to qualify one thing. The picture on that machine is a picture of my boys. Now, these are guys that my charter know, so I just showed them, and I left it up as my desktop, all right? So that's not really my desktop. It's just a couple of my boys that uh, I used to work with, and they were top of the game right there, those boys, all right? So uh, sit back. I just want to show you how the NSS-9 shows structure and structure scan and how to use it, okay? So everybody take care. See what we got, all right? Thanks. All right, folks, this is my machine here. It's the Simrad NSS9 Evo 2. And right now I have up two screens, the structure scan on the right and the chart is on the left. So what I'm doing here is just showing the guys from the National Police Angles how I identify structure and how I fish for blackfish. And this is basically it. If you're looking on the right and on the left, you can see that rock pile is strewn across the bottom of the uh, sound. And it's very identifiable, very dimensional too. As you can see, if I hit down scan, I can see how dimensional that uh, that rock pile is, and if that rock pile holds fish. If you look in this picture right here, real close, you can see suspended bait right above that rock pile, which is pretty cool. Now, here's a quick shot of how the bait school looks in traditional sonar. There's a rock pile on the bottom, and you can see just a school of bait right above it. It's insane. This is just yeah. this is the insane part. You can go back, you know, you can bring it back, you can mark oh, yeah. it, so I can come here, I can go here, go back to uh, view, left, right, I can go back, bring it back, mark it, hit the mark button, that creates that waypoint right there. So easy to do, too. Right, it's, it's just killer, you know. So it's not difficult to find these these pieces. I mean, you don't have to be right. super sleuth. You just right. anchoring the key, obviously. Correct. But Correct. That's that's a learning curve in itself. Right. But but then you just put it on the screen, and you can see if you're where you want exactly. to be. Exactly. Exactly. So you'll see or you'll see structure on this side. You'll just right. turn the prop, turn the engine. It'll kind of sway the boat out, swing the boat each way. But you know, these are these are rock piles that nobody can see unless you have structure scan, exactly. which, which is insane. You know, just a small rock pile here. You'll see that. I'll do a down scan again on that. And these are the rock piles. These are yep. small rock piles here. It's just insane the, the quality this thing has. Yeah. So, I mean, you look at it with a traditional A scope, you don't see, you can see the rock piles here, but That's when you look it. at, use traditional A scope with the, with the chirp here too. I have chirp, medium chirp. Right. These are fish, you know, these are probably right. bluefish on top of those because you usually pick them up in the column. But this is what normal people would see. Exactly. And you're like, ah, oh, it looks good. But yeah. when you go to this, and you use down scan, then you say, then damn, you those say, are yeah, rocks. And it's, it's, it's right there. So you yeah. just, you can mark it so easily. It's so simple. It's, it's insane. But that's it. That's the NSS 9 EVO 2. Thanks to my boys and girls, the Simrad. And then, of course, one of my favorite things is here. You go here. Go for a little music. Since 
inside it. Alright folks, now I gotta admit that was interesting stuff there, how structure scan sees that uh, structure. Now I just want to show you at the end here, I'm going to put a little compilation of the MPA guys in action and it's going to be to, uh, you might want to, the music at least, you might want to say a prayer after you hear that music, alright? But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick clip of uh, Simrad NSS9 EVO 2 in action and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the guys from the MPA in action, alright? Everybody take care, don't forget them. That's right, fresh air. Alright, shake it easy, thanks for watching Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Next video's coming up, it's gonna be another blackfish in action, a lot of stuff, a lot of shenanigans, alright? So uh, stay tuned for that, you know, it's coming up soon. Everybody take care, thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh. oh! That's a good fresh. Oh, oh.